Hey everybody, Mattis Faction here, and today I'm just going to show you some uh, cool cheap knives I got. But first, now that Brandon Thrasher, go sub to him, is on board. Beverage check. This is my, uh, my mug. Take off my fly protector hat, and inside you have some sweet tea. Y'all want some sweet tea? Get some sweet tea. Y'all want some sweet tea? Have some sweet tea. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious. Now that we have the pleasantries out. Oh, pocket check. I'm wearing my jam jams. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been wearing these for like, I don't know. Four days straight, and I don't care. I don't care. Pocket check. The Bobbit, as my wife has referred to it, but this is the Quatch. I've just been having this around me all day, not necessarily on me all the time, but you know, it's it's been near me. Uh, I mean. Check out the action on this. Ooh. Yeah, so that's the Bobbit. All right. <clears throat> Let's get down to business. Uh, first up, I would like to show off my uh, letter opener. This is a, a new letter opener I have procured. All of these items you're going to see have been acquired by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and you know, it uh, it opens letters. It looks cool. I liked the yellow. The handle is uh, an ancient uh, technique where they take cheap printed paper and just wrap it around. Uh, but seriously though, this thing was like two dollars, so I mean. You can't complain. And it opens envelopes. All right. Let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to start off with probably my favorite item. The zipper. Why do I use my middle fingers? This thing is small, but fun. Look at that. It's uh, just over three inches long. Oh. oh, yeah. And then you just, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Give me a wallet. I will not. Okay. But really, it's this is like a letter opener. But, I mean, look at that. It's got like a cool slidey tab. And uh, it's just fun. And you know what? You know, due to the nature of this build, it's been around for decades. It'll never open in your pocket. Unless you have magic pockets, I can somehow pull this, slide it up, and then close it down. And, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's got magnets. I'm assuming this is uh, stainless steel. This is red and black G10. Uh, this feels like aluminum. But these pins are metallic. So maybe they're the magnets themselves. But, you know, this was just really fun. Rough Rider. Zipper. Zips out and zips in. <coughs> Next up on the list. Hey, man. You got a pen I can borrow? Oh, absolutely. Here. All you got to do is twist the top. Do, 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 do. Oh, what's that? You want to get stabbed, sucker? So obviously this is a pen knife, um, illegal in many places that are saying that, you know, you can't have something that looks like something else, but is also dangerous. I don't understand it. It's just a freaking knife in a pen. But, you know, this thing was like, I don't know, $6 also. You know what? Let me get you some actual prices. Huh? Why did I think of that huh? before I started the video? You know what I'm saying? Huh? I don't know why I all of a sudden went New Yorker, but it happened. 
smkw.com. Log in my account. Past orders. View order. The zipper knife was $7.99, but it's on sale right now for $6.49. This is the Rough Rider Ink Pen Knife, $5. Five dollars, folks. So there's that. Let me let me put that back. Yeah, Rough Rider. You know, I kind of went on a uh, Rough Rider kick. So let's put that there. Uh, this one, I have misplaced one of the boxes, but this actually has two knives in it. The first being the long bladed toad sticker. I just thought that sounded cool. So let's get the long bladed toad sticker out. But first, look at that. This one was eight ninety nine, and it's blue swirl. Look at that. I don't. I mean, it looks so cool in person, like a pearl. But then. This thing opened. Let me light it up. Sorry about that. I had to yell at my son. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches. Man. And uh, I think I already said it, but this was eight ninety nine. But the handle, man, that's just so cool. But I mean, you know what? I'm not going to stick toads with it, but this is like a perfect, you know, get that olive at the bottom of the jar type deal. So I plan on using it for stuff like that. I mean, this thing is just cool. And, you know, it's got the 440 razor sharp steel. But, man, I mean, this thing's just so cool. No half stop. It's just straight up blade. All right. Now, the next one you have seen before. If you watch Big Red, go sub. The Spanish Toothpick. Now this one's $5.99. Canon Spanish Toothpick. Look at their logo. That is, that is pretty cool. And then look at the detail on the handle. Um, I think it's wood. But you know, sometimes they have fake wood that looks real. But I think this is actually real wood. Uh, I lost the box for this one. You could tell because it was in the toad sticker box. I mean, I didn't lose it somewhere. I probably put it in my box of boxes. <clears throat> but this one's just super cool. This one, I thought I got it because it was long. And then as I was about to check out, the toad sticker showed up. And I was like, what? So you know what? Let's compare. Yeah, the tote sticker is just a little bit longer. Even has just a little bit longer blade. But, you know, they they each are, you know, different style, different blade shapes, different handle material. Um, this one feels more solid. But this one just long blade. It feels solid. Looks like brass liners. But the handle, handle. Okay, I already, already, dis already discussed the handle. All right, next up on the list, the Reaper. Always high quality handmade pocket knives by Rough Rider. And I opened it upside down. This Reaper was fifteen dollars. Uh, look at that. I needed it because of that. The hand on this bone. I don't remember if it's real bone or not. But I suppose I could tell you. Couldn't I? Let's, uh, let's paste this in and let's go take a journey. Is this real bone? It's on sale right now for $11.99. The handles are amber bone with engraved reaper claw. 
nickel silver pin bolsters and brass liners and a lanyard hole. So yeah, $11.99 right now. It seems like a lot of Rough Riders are on sale after I purchased all of them. So that's pretty cool and pretty typical. But yeah, look at the hands on that thing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Open it, okay? Bam. I finally got a, a hawkbill knife. Uh, that's a crow. I don't know what that was, but definitely wasn't an eagle. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, you could use these for getting mushrooms, but it's not curved enough, but you could do it. But this one's just a pretty cool knife. I mean, look at that. Look at that handle. And it's bone. I got a bone to pick with you. Not you. Hey, not you. You're okay. You're cool. You're too young to have a bone to pick with. But when you turn two, boy. Oh yeah, this one is just freaking awesome. Uh, I love the way it looks. Uh, the, just the skull hand on both sides. But then when you use it, you know, the hand is upside down. Unless you... But, that's just a cool, and then the box is cool too. Rough Rider. Uh, yeah. Uh, one more. By the way, um, this was in that order. I have to show it off again just because it's freaking sweet. Yeah. This is like a slip joint order right here. Exactly. But yeah, I just, this, this is awesome. All right, last one. And this is my most interesting knife and it's not a Rough Rider. This is a Benchmark Paratrooper. And I got it because it's so, so unique. So let me get the information on it. This was $11.99, so let's see if it's on sale, and I could have saved money. What do you know? It's $9.59 right now. Pretty cool. Piece of crap. So, let me show you this. It has a big spike, so you can... But, look at this. Open by twist. And then you twist again. And then you have this really cool knife. And with the handle just being all there, it's just, it's comfortable. But let's see, the blade is like, you know, it's thick. It's a thick blade. This is not a slicer. This is more of a poker. But, you know, the opening and closing of it is just so unique and cool. And it, it's compact, and the handle's just so comfortable. I love this thing. And it's less than 10 bucks right now. It says this is a clip point blade. Is it? Seems pretty uh, drop downy to me. But, you know, whatever. But yeah, this whole thing is just made out of stainless steel. The entire thing, all of it. Handle, blade, with a nice matte finish. <coughs> Let me guess the sweet tea. I have drank all my sweet tea. I'm knocking crap over. It's got a nice little pocket clip. Doesn't seem very, like, you know, like, you don't have to pry it open, so. Uh, mine comes a little bit elevated on this uh, first or second screw here. But, you know, maybe if I just tighten it down a little bit, that'll fix that problem. But, you know, this is a just a sweet, awesome knife. I love it. 
Well, you need two hands to open it. Can't do it one-handed at all, ever. No. Nope. Let me see. Yeah, it's impossible. So you cannot do this one-handed. You can't. So you're safe out there, my German... What's, what's the word for friend? My German... Friends! I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so this is the benchmark paratrooper folder. And every single knife here, you see, uh, I have purchased for more than what it's going for right now. So do yourself a favor and go get them and save money. Because naturally, when I buy knives, they're not on sale. And then as soon as I buy them, boom, they're on sale. So... Go take advantage. Go do it. Get these things. And, uh... I'll catch you next time.